Dubai and today guys is another beautiful day and today we are here in Corfacan. I just wanted to know guys that Corfacan is a part of Sharjah and it is located on the east coast of Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates. Um, particularly we are, here, we are here at this moment in Sheets Park. Sheets Park guys is one of the tourist um, spots here in uh, Corfacan. And come let's go! find out what is inside basically it's just if you are a nature lover then you will surely love it here because the place is so calm and today um today is saturday so it is not so crowded as like friday that uh, all people are coming here because it's mostly off um for all the people who are working so uh she's park or um for Papan is uh, one hour and 30 minutes uh, drive by car Come if you are coming from Dubai so let's take a look so guys look at this um, this is actually a garden so can you imagine how creative they are that in the middle of nowhere in the middle of these mountains on my right side and on my left side but still they made this very beautiful garden yeah so if you are a nature lover and uh, you really love a place away from the city and away from the hustle and the bustle of the city this is the perfect place for you Can you hear the birds singing and chirping? Hi guys! So we are back in here and now we are heading to this uh, village. This is still part of Corfacan but uh, Let's find out what is the name of this village because their writings actually they have the signage but it is Arabic so how can I read it? So it's not possible. But look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? So we will go on these stairs going up there. And look at the view, the scenery. Literally, I want to stay here like for even a week. This is a very nice place to stay, like away from the city. It's very calm. Oh, how I wish I can do that. So this village is called Al Migzar village and it was built around 300 years ago and is located atop a small mountain in Wadi Shi. So the small fort at the top is known as Wadi Shi castle and has high slits through which to aim a rifle and also to provide ventilation. So it is also part of the defense network of Corfacan city which includes Al Duani Tower, Al Rabi Tower and 
all his fort in the city itself. The lookouts would warn each other by gunfire. So, and also guys, the villagers also has houses, stores, and mosques, all built of rock and clay. As you can see, it is full of rocks. So the rocks used were very large and some of the buildings, such as the mosque, are built into larger rocks. So as the rocks used were from the mountain area itself, it's hard to see the village from a distance actually and you can easily drive past it without noticing it other than the fort. So it is a beautiful, it is so spect spectacular, it's amazing. Actually, this is not yet. It's over there. My Lord, have mercy. Oh, I think it's closed. This is the most exciting part because we will do some kayaking. Look at that! There's a lot of kayaks. So, so exciting. Of course, we need to get the card. So guys, this is the Arifisa Dam and it was originally built from 1980s and look at that, it is so beautiful because it is in the middle of the mountainous area of Corfacan. And look at that, happy kayaking! Guys, look at... the expert in kayaking <laughs> yeah am I happy is this I think this is not this is an no um ito hindi maalat no
Like, honestly, it is the perfect time for kayaking. 12 noon. Under the heat of the sun. It is so hot, guys. But the good thing is windy. So, yeah. It's still fresh, though. <laughs> Look, at the ice Look at the grass. It's so beautiful. For the one is windy. <laughs> So romantic, but, but we don't have, unfortunately. So shout out there, <laughs> and shout out by you. Know. Yeah. But you know what? You're we will tell you. <laughs> we will tell you something. Your happiness. So guys, this is the Al Rabi Tower. So guys, as you can see, this is the Al Rabi Tower, and Al Rabi Tower is a fort, and that was built in 1915, and it is a part of the defense network in Corfakan. So the tower overlooks as you can see, overlooks the town and it was used to send warnings to the nearby watchtowers. So before they used it as a watch tower. So it was first constructed in 1915 and uh, it was during the reign of Sh Sheikh Zaid bin Hamad Al Qazimi. And look at the view, it's so beautiful and it's honestly it's so breathtaking here. And yep. Hi guys, welcome back. I don't know where I'm at. This is the post and this post is man made. Can you imagine somebody who thinks of the working like this? This is kind of fun. That is a robe. So look at that, it's so amazing. Really, they are so crazy. So guys, at this moment, we are heading to Corfakan Amphitheater. I just want to let you know that it is very prominent cultural landmark in the Emirates of Sharjah. So it is located as well in Corfakan, guys. And Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Muhammad al Qazimi, the ruler of Sharjah, inaugurated this amphitheater on this December 14 of 2020 so it is just very new and it is one of the most um, tourist spot in Corfakan as you can see it is very nice and it is very uh, 
big as well. So the building of the amphitheater, it is located only at the foot of Azade Mountain and it was facing the beach of the city of Korfakan. So look at that. You can imagine that uh, they built something like this and it is just, you feel like you are in Europe, not in the Middle East.